Hi guys, this is Mary and you're watching Cards TV. My friend Barb reminded me the other day that I had said I was going to do a Q&A about a month or so ago and I still haven't done it. It's been a really long time. I think the last one was maybe in February. And I have gotten a lot of questions and as usual I'm behind on answering emails so I'm going to try to answer some of your questions today and hopefully maybe it will answer some of your email questions as well. Uh, the first one, where do I find A2 envelopes? If I don't make my own envelopes, I found these at Staples. These are just the plain white ones and there's a hundred in here. This is the A2 size for a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I think this was like $9.99 at Staples for a hundred envelopes. And these are white, but they do have them in uh, pastel colors as well. These large envelopes, I think I showed you these the other day when I did the Halloween treat bag, and you can make a bigger bag out of these. These are an A9. I got these at Walmart a couple of years ago. Uh, they still sell them. It's just a different box. And this will hold a card made by an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper folded in half. So these are for a large card. But you can use them for other things like the Halloween treat bags or just a gift bag. But if you do make just a, a card you fold in half, maybe you're going to just give it to somebody and not mail it like a child's card for a birthday or something. These are nice to have on hand because it is hard to make one of those. It takes a very large piece of paper to make one of those. And these come in pastels white and then these brighter colors too. And I did get these at Walmart, but they also have these at Staples. Uh, these sets had lots of you ask where you can get these pre-scored cards and matching envelopes. You can get these at Michaels. At least my Michaels carries them. Uh, I'm assuming most Michaels probably do, but these are really nice to have on hand because you've got the matching envelope and they're already scored. These are a little smaller though. These cards will make a four by five and a half inch card instead of four and a quarter, but they fit these envelopes. So these are really nice to have and you can find these at Michaels. The next question, what is a good basic shapes cartridge. I like George. George just has a lot on it. You'll find all your basic shapes, squares, rectangles, circles. Uh, they've got like the stop sign shape. They've got long rectangles. They have cylinders, um, stars, hearts, moons, flowers. George is just a good all-around cartridge. It's the first one I ever got. There are some uh, fonts on here and you can cut them thin or thicker uh, and there's some words also. Uh, thinking of you, thanks, I love you, it's your day, way to go. This is just a good basic shapes cartridge and I have used this a lot for just basic shapes and I do use the font occasionally too. Where do you get sticky strips? I got this at Walmart back before they started getting rid of all their craft supplies. Uh, Stampin' Up! sells actual sticky strip. Um, I forget what this was called from Walmart. But I like score tape better. This is just as sticky, but you can tear this with your fingers. And I think it, you get more for your money. And I got this at Custom Crops. I don't know where else you can get it. I just got it there. But I really like score tape better. But that is where I got that. But I don't even think Walmart has this uh, sticky, red sticky one now since they've changed over. At least mine has. They have mostly Elmer's products. How do I clean my mat and where did I get my mat? This is a Fiskars quilting mat and I got it at Walmart in the quilting section. It's very large. It's uh, 36 inches wide and I think it's 30. No, it's not square. I think it's uh, 24 by 36. I love this. 
it's like it's indestructible. I can't cut it or anything, but glue does stick to it. So, I have this handy dandy glue eraser, and I just take it wherever there's glue, and it comes right off. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. I have another one of these that I use for taking glue off cards and things. You can find these at scrapbook stores. Uh, Michaels may carry them. I don't know about um, like custom crops or Hallmark scrapbooking, but I did get mine at my scrapbook store. And the one I use for my cards is not all black and grungy like this. You can tell I've used this one on my mat, but it works great. But if you can't find one of those, if you can find undo adhesive remover, this stuff works great too. This is also good if you put something down on a card or a scrapbook page and you don't like where you put it. This has a handy little scraper and you just drip some down in here. Scrape it right up and when it dries, whatever you took up is still sticky and you can move it and put it somewhere else. Um, you can get this in hardware stores. Uh, I actually ordered this from HSN. Uh, I don't know if Michaels carries it. I have not seen it in Walmart. But I got this big bottle. I've had this for a couple of years. A little goes a long way. But it's great stuff. I really like it. Where do I get my inspiration? Well, just like all of you, I blog hop, I watch YouTube videos, I look at magazines, I, when I can't sleep at night, I think about cards and mini albums and all that. And if I have ideas, I write them down. And just, it's, there's so many sources for inspiration out there. And then uh, somebody asked me too, do I ever uh, get a block where I can't come up with anything? And a lot of you know, if you're, uh, a friend of mine on Facebook, you know that I've lost my mojo many times recently, and I've been looking for it. <laughs> and different ones of you have said you've had it, but you sent it back. But yes, I think we all get a crafter's block from time to time. What I like to do sometimes that helps is I'll go back and get a scrapbook page I've done, or maybe just look at my albums, or I'll go back through my cards, and that just helps reinforce the feeling that yes my mojo will come back and I will be able to create again and I don't get so panicky because sometimes I do I think oh my gosh this is terrible you know I can't come up with an idea I'm just I'm done for that's it but if you just go back and look at the things you've done look at other people's work look at some magazines and just kind of chill out don't get so upset about it it will be back Let's see, have I ever made a card I couldn't stand? Oh yes, many of them, and you will never see them. <laughs> lots and lots of them. Have I ever made a card I couldn't bear to give away? No, because usually when I make a card, I'll make two. One to keep and one to give away. Because I don't do videos of all my cards, and if I have an extra one, and I decide I want to make that card again, or maybe I want to make it and change it up, I've got that one that I've kept to look at, you know, for my measurements and everything. What kind of video editing software do I use? I use Roxio, and I love it. It's awesome. It's a little pricey, but for what you get, it's well worth it. You can do anything with Roxio. Uh, I've been asked this one many times. What kind of camera do I use? It's a plain old Kodak Easy Share 5 megapixel camera. I've had it for about six years. And it's got a 2 megabyte, uh, excuse me, 2 gigabyte card in it. And that's all I use. Let's see. I know we're going to have to stop this here in a minute. Have I ever cut Coke cans or tin with my Cricut? No, and I would not advise you to do that. If you feel like you need to cut some metal, I would use a Big Shot and the, a die. I don't think it would hurt that, but I would not use my Cricut for that. How many cards do I make a day? I don't make a card every day. I would love to be able to, but unfortunately I have to go to work and cook dinner and all those kind of things. I try to make 
a card like every other day. Uh, on the weekends, if my husband's out doing his farming thing, then I might get to make two or three. Sometimes I don't get to make any because I got lots of laundry and grocery shopping to do. But I don't get to make one every day. How do I remember what's on the carts when I want to cut something? Well, I've got a gypsy, so that helps me. I can use the uh, word search feature on that, and it will tell me, like uh, the other day when I needed the fence for the card I made for Janice, I just typed in fence, and it told me that it was on the potpourri basket cartridge. So I didn't look any further. I just used that one. Uh, if you don't have a gypsy, you can Google Cricut Cheat Sheets, and there are numerous sites out there. Uh, some wonderful people have had the time to sit down and put these cheat sheets together that tells you what cuts are on different cartridges. And it, a lady the other day told me it can be like 90 pages long, but it's got everything in there. So just Google Cricut Cheat Sheets. And this is going to have to be the last one. Oh, what is the address if you want to get your card on Coffee and Carts? That's Mary at Cards TV, Post Office Box 426, Georgetown, Kentucky, 40324. And if you'll go to the sidebar on Cards TV, you'll find it there also. I love showing y'all's cards and linking you up. Let's see. Is there one more quick one I can get in here? How many cartridges do I have? Right now I have 47. But you know that's always subject to change. There's always new ones out there and we've just got to have them. But thanks for coming by today, guys. I hope I answered some of your questions. Um, I don't feel like I have got to very many of them, but I'll try to do this again soon. I appreciate all of you uh, leaving me such nice comments all the time and being so sweet. Y'all are just the best. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now.